Welcome back painting friends. Today we are going to paint a dinosaur. The colors you're going to need are yellow, green, blue, purple, white, and black. I always have a cup of water and a rag nearby for keeping my brushes clean. My favorite brushes are my uh, one inch flat brush as well as my 10, six, and one round brush. So let us get started. We're going to start with our background and our background is going to look almost like a sunrise. Okay. So we're going to start by making an arched line with yellow paint. Now we don't have to go all the way down to the ground because we are going to have our um, ground in there, but our archway is going to go about halfway up our canvas. Now from here, I don't have to wipe my brush off at all. I can just go in with a little bit of green paint, just a little bit. I'm going to drop some green paint right at the top of my arch. Wipe that brush off. And then when I start to bring those colors in, we're going to start to blend into a green color. Now I can grab some more green and start to blend that color upwards. I don't want to have a lot of green in here. I think that's kind of a weird color for the sky, but I really love that lime green color. Wipe my brush off and now I'm going to go in with blue right on top and I'm going to bring that blue into that green just to kind of calm that green down a little bit, make it a little less bright green. Still doing that arched line as I go up. Now this time I am going to wash my brush off so I'm going to use water, wash my brush off, and I'm going to add purple to the very top of this. Perfect. I can go ahead and wash that brush off, wipe it off. Let's go ahead and lay in our ground. So with black paint, I'm just going to take my paint and I'm going to, hmm, I think we're going to put a volcano in here. I wasn't going to, but I think it's a good idea. So I can just kind of make a line that covers up all my white space. It does not have to be a straight line. And then I am going to put a volcano in here. So I'm going to make a triangle with curved lines that go up. and bring that down. Can maybe make the top of my volcano a little jagged too. And everything below that just paint in black. Now, if you want your volcano to go up a little bit higher or maybe a little bit more narrow, that's totally your choice. You can change that. But I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this brush off, wash it off, and I'm gonna let my painting dry. When we come back, we'll add in our dinosaur and probably something coming out of that volcano. Okay, let's go ahead and add our dinosaur in here. First, um, we're gonna put in our background. And for the background, I'm gonna use just some dots for some stars in the sky. But I also want to add some smoke coming out of the top of this volcano. So for my stars, I use the back of my paintbrush and I just put a little bit of white paint on it and just drop some dots in my sky. Um, if you like stars, you can always, you know, put a constellation or two up there. But let's talk about this smoke coming out of our volcano. I'm gonna use my number 10 round brush with a little bit of white paint and I'm gonna water that white paint down. So I just kind of took my paintbrush and I put it in my clean water and I'm just gonna kind of tap it to the side to make it really, really, really runny. And then I'm going to just kind of bring some smoke out like this. Maybe I can add a swirl or two in there. Now you are more than welcome to add volcano lava coming down your volcano. Um, if you want to throw some white paint on your palette, but I'm just going to stick with the white coming out of there for now. Oh, I love that. 
Now I am gonna switch over to my smaller brush, my number six, for actually drawing out my dinosaur. Anytime I am trying to draw or make detail lines, I do like to water my paint down a little bit, kind of like what I just did with my white paint. So I'm gonna water down my black paint just a little bit so that it goes on my brush almost like more of an inky consistency. So my dinosaur body is gonna be an oval and that oval is gonna be kind of at an angle, okay? So I've got my dinosaur body. From there, I'm gonna start at the top of that oval and I'm gonna make a curved line down and back up. That's gonna be his tail. So this is the point of the tail. It's gonna stay super skinny, but as it kind of comes back around, it's gonna reattach to the body. Now from there, his little dinosaur legs, I am going to make them two little legs back here and the top of his legs are really thick. So I'm actually gonna make triangles that kind of go down. And then from those triangles that go down, I'm going to bend them forwards. So for my dino head now, I'm gonna make a two curved lines that come off the top of that body. And T-Rex's had really big heads, right? So I'm going to make his head quite large, but it's gonna be um, an oval shape. So I'm gonna start here with like a big old oval shape, but I'm not gonna close it because I want his mouth to be open. And then right here, I can just make a triangle to have his mouth be a little bit more open. Now, but there's also some features on the head we have to think about. There's a, a large bump right here for his eye and the back of his head almost is squared off. So I'm gonna make a little square there. The front of his mouth is gonna have a bump for his nose. So I'm gonna extend that line out and the bottom of his jaw is gonna be straight and then go up at an angle. Now, if you want to, you can add some teeth in there just by making small little triangles. I mean, I feel like this guy was well known for his teeth. And then we are gonna paint this entire body in black. Now we can't forget about our little T-Rex arms and you know that his arms are kind of teeny tiny. So I'm gonna make one of his arm, in fact, I'm gonna give him a little bit more of a chest. I'm gonna give him a small bump right here. I felt like he was a little lopsided. Oh, I like that much more. Um, so for his little T-Rex arms, I'm just gonna make a small little line out and then an even smaller little line down and maybe even make sure that on there I could see some little T-Rex claws. This one will be a little bit longer because it is closer to us. So a little bit of a longer line. Perfect. All right, we are gonna let this dry. When we come back, we're gonna add our final details, which is just gonna be a couple of highlights. With our dry background, let's go ahead and add some highlights to our canvas so that we have a little bit more detail. So I have got my itty bitty number one round brush with a little bit of white paint on it. And what I'm gonna do first of all is I am going to kind of outline like where his little feet are down here, just a couple of little lines on where his feet might be. I'm gonna make some lines going down my volcano. 
and I'm gonna add some lines to his back. Very gentle lines. Some of these I like to call ghost lines. Sometimes you see them, sometimes you don't. I'm gonna put some right here to kind of show where his eye is, on his mouth, maybe even on his teeth. Just any place you think you wanna add a couple of lines. I can even add some wavy lines up here to show kind of where my ground is. But you have to think that the, the highlights that you add are really um, whatever's being shown by like the stars or the moon. So you want them to kind of be on the top of everything. The very last thing you have to do before you can say your picture is finished is you need to find a color that shows up well on your canvas and sign your name. I always like to put my name in the bottom right corner. So remember, I never get to see what you're painting at home unless you post it to our Facebook page, Painting with a Purpose. Remember to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, Painting with a Purpose, so you are kept up to date on all of our latest tutorials. And as always, stay kind, stay creative, and stay safe. Have a great day, friends. Bye now.